My name is Vechi Irozindu. Welcome to another episode of Uncolored Remark on TAV TV, where we bring to you top trending gist and entertainment that you don't want to miss. So on today's episode of Uncolored Remark, we're going to be talking about late singer Mobad's father and his wife Wumi. You will love this one, so stay tuned while we go on a quick break and we will be right back. Welcome back. Please like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more entertaining gists like this one. So, most of us are aware of how the late singer Mobad died. It was a very, very painful and mysterious incident. Most of us are aware that what we were told was not all that happened, that there was more to what we were told. In fact, most of us in Nigeria have that impression that there is more to Mobad's death. So, Earlier, Mobad's wife, Wumi, came to make a post saying that, you know, people were dragging her earlier online that she should go and do a DNA test and all of that because of one voice, one voice note that was trending all over. So she came to make a post. She was saying that, that some people who she, she didn't call their names have been stopping her from coming out to say the real truth about her husband's death and that no one can imagine what she's going through, imagine the situation she's going through. She even went as far as saying that so many times her husband would be sick, but he'd be scared of going to the hospital or anything with the fear that, uh, that they might pay some doctors or nurses to kill him, to drug him. She even claimed that they accused him of being a drug addict. And she says that they've kept, even till now that he's dead, that they keep shutting her up and they're not letting her talk about the true issue, the, the real thing that happened that followed his demise. And she even talked about the DNA test issue. She said that the reason she has not done the DNA test is because her father-in-law has refused to get the court order for her to do the DNA test. And her reason is that if she goes about with all with everything has been going on around her, with people trying to, you know, bl to blame her, to shame her and drag her, that, you know, she might want to do the DNA test and there will be some kind of interference and then she'll be in trouble again. So she wants a court order before she does the DNA test. Now, today, her father-in-law has replied that post, telling her that whatever it is that she, she feels she knows about Mobad's death, that she should say it, that what's the need of hiding, what's the need of covering, what's the need of covering up and hiding, that if there's anything that you know about my son's death that most people don't know, say it out, let us hear it. Whatever it is that is shutting you up, won't, won't harm you, that she should come out and talk openly about whatever it is that she knows about late Mobad's death. He even talked about the issue of DNA. That when Mobad's father now said that when he asked Mumi for a DNA test for Liam, Mobad's son, that in return, Mumi now asked Mobad's father that has he gotten a DNA test from Mobad's mom <laughs> to know if he is the true father of Mobad and that she never said anything about court order and all that. That even when the coroner came for investigations, that she had all the time to say the truth about Mobad's death, that there's absolutely nothing to be scared of. In a situation like this, you're supposed to be able to say the truth. If there's anything you know, say it out. So she didn't talk about it when investigations were going on, but now all of a sudden she just wakes up to start saying that there's so many things that happened about Mobad's death that she's not allowed to speak. Some people have alleged that it's Naramali, that's Naramali that bullied Mobad while he was alive, and that it is still Naramali that is bullying Mobad's wife and all of that. We're not sure of this. We don't know. But I feel that if there's anything you know about, about a person's death, you should tell someone. Even if it's to tell family members, even if it's to tell close friends. Let it, let it be that it did not come out from your mouth. If you're trying to be safe, if you're trying to be safe, then let it be that it didn't come from you. But if there's anything that's going on that happened following the death of a loved one, I'm not sure it's something you should keep to yourself. If there's anyone guilty of the death of a loved one, it's not something you would keep to yourself. You should tell a person, at least a family member. So I don't, I still don't understand why she's keeping those things to herself. But then family issues. I don't think anyone that is grieving a person should be being to be dragged. However, it is that is the father of her son and she's still grieving. 
being being raising a child alone and becoming a single mother at such a young age is so painful so she's grieving i don't think anyone should be dragging her up and down left and right then asking for de demanding for a dna test when when her husband was alive he never doubted the paternity of his child though he never demanded for dna test and now we are demanding for it i don't think it's okay but let me know your thoughts in the comment section who do you think is behind mobad's death or what do you think happened that followed mobad's death let me know your thoughts in the comment section and please don't forget to like share subscribe and hit the notification bell for more entertaining videos like this one bye and i'll see you in my next video